Um, hi, everyone. My name is Hannah Kim, and I'm a creative technologist and a recent graduate from the Parsons MFA Textiles program here in New York City. Today, I'd like to share with you the ins and outs and the behind the scenes of my series, Speaking Snacks, um, which is a project I've been working on for the past three years, starting um, this program and has evolved into this thesis project. Um, so most of you may not know this, but I, because it's still a difficult subject for me to talk about even now, but I am a recipient of the DACA program. And I won't get into the technicals or bore you with long explanations, but basically this means that I am not allowed to leave the US ever. And I have not been back home to South Korea since arriving here in 2001, which is a very long time, as you can imagine. Unfortunately, when Trump was elected president- Sorry, just to interrupt you, are you moving the slides or- Oh, no, 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 I'm- Okay. Great. This part of it, yes. <laughs> um, but when Trump became president, more than 800,000 of us in the DACA program were being hunted down by ICE. And I couldn't speak about my status or reveal that I was in this program. And even making artwork around this issue put me in jeopardy of being deported. But I wanted to create something that could be something that would bring a bit of hope or maybe even a smile or a laugh during this hopeless and suffocating situation. And as much as I couldn't speak for myself about being a DACA recipient, I created this speaking snack series so that it could be a voice for me and to do the speaking for me and to show other immigrants to hold on and push through, even when the country you once considered as home is hunting you down. Can you see my next slide? Yes, we can. Okay. So as an immigrant, I always found comfort during times like those or whenever I was feeling homesick through food. Um, this is why I, and I hope that other immigrants and even the travelers out there can relate to me when I say food is home. Um, that's why I decided to have my concept revolve around the iconic snacks from my home country, South Korea. I hope that other immigrants who are in a position like I was could find a little bit of joy seeing my work thinking of home again, or see that there were others like them who were, as I like to call it, in immigration limbo. Um, so being stuck in two very different cultures, many of these iconic South Korean snacks actually comforted me through these uncertain times and the ever-changing US immigration policies. Speaking Snacks is a series of hybrid e-textiles that will invoke memories of home by playing aloud the original snack commercials or snack eating sounds when movement is detected. So it's created layering traditional textile techniques, new technology, and modern fabrication processes. Each layer merges the past, present, and the future while still deconstructing and reconstructing memories of a home that's no longer accessible. So kicking off with craft, the first layer is entirely tufted and acts as a base for the other elements. It is then digitally scanned to create the first layer of detail and brought back into Photoshop and Illustrator where I quite literally deconstruct and reconstruct the snack packages so that it can be laser cut into fragmented piece of, pieces of reclaimed acrylic. So some of these acrylic pieces are wrapped with donated yarns or painted or 3D printed on using PLA. And this manipulation of the acrylic fragments creates more textures using materials and techniques new and old. The second layer is made by stitching the fragmented acrylic pieces onto the tufted base, creating a more 3D effect and mimicking that plastic crinkly feel that we all know in those packages. And the third layer is all about embroidery and stitching in all the minor details to really make the piece come alive and have that nostalgic effect. It focuses on the hand being able to truly draw with the yarn. Um, most of the yarn I do ply by hand to achieve more depth in color and weight. And the final layer contains the future aspect of my piece. I create my own custom PCBs and use motion and distance sensors to make my textile fully interactive with the audience. When movement is detected, it triggers the e-textiles to start playing the original commercials of each snack or a snack eating sound, which I will show in this video. Uh, can you see the video? No, we see a gray screen. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop sharing really quick and then share again. Here we go. So as soon as you come close or movement is detected, 
it will start playing loud, the snack commercial. So that is a short clip. So using memory and elements of humor, I strive to dissipate the more negative emotions associated with the US immigration system to find connection, community, and a voice for others who are all in a similar place as I am. Thank you for listening. And to my professors, thank you for all the support and helping me finally speak about a subject I was once not able to. Thank you.